All right, you guys, we got another Bill Burr reaction. We got uh, Rednecks are America's pit bulls. I know this ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I know this is about to be funny, man. Just even with that sentence alone, man. So let's get it. So I was watching uh, George Bush today give some sort of speech, or try to, I should say. You guys like George Bush? No. Um, you know what? You know what I like about George Bush? He makes me feel like I could be president too. You know? <laughs> He's like the first guy from like my reading level. You know what I mean? First guy from my math class to actually make it. You know? <laughs> He's the worst. You know what I love about that guy? He can't say the word terror. He uses the word every speech. He can't say terror. He goes tear. <laughs> he goes, America will not stand for tear. <laughs> Anybody who supports tear, <laughs> you're a tear kiss, <laughs> we're going to get you. <laughs> what kind of president goes, we're going to get you? <laughs> it's like some redneck they dragged out of a barbecue, put him in a suit. Dude, if you go, we're going to get you. You should be just standing on stage with like a couple of bloodhounds going, go get them, Blue. Smell the shirt. Get it to sand. Go get them. Damn, that Blue's a good dog. <laughs> I have realized though, when you go to war, man, that's the one time when you really have to like appreciate rednecks though. You know that? You know why? Because rednecks are like the one group of people that actually like want to go to war. No, they do. They're up for it. That's like their Super Bowl. You know, they're like making dip and shit. You know what I mean? They really want to go. Everybody else tries to get out of it. Like rich people never go to war. You know, you ask a college kid if he wants to go to war, he's just like, um, I'm taking this sociology class. <laughs> I think war is like really stupid. My roommate's like half Afghani, so that's gonna cause some static. <laughs> <laughs> you ask a redneck if he wants to go to war, he's just like, hell fucking yeah! They just wanna shoot something, okay? I've been around rednecks, man. They cool people, man. Well, if you get to know them. But I, but there's different levels of rednecks though. Like there's like city rednecks, country rednecks, and way out there rednecks. You know what I'm saying? So. Redneck if he wants to go to war, it's just like hell fucking yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready right now. You just point the direction, buddy. I'm ready to do this shit. All my life, people telling me I'm fucked up. <laughs> no, they're frightening people, but you gotta utilize them. Seriously, you want to scare the enemy, all right? And rednecks are like America's pit bulls. They should just sedate those people, drop them off in Afghanistan, just let them run wild. I'm telling you. Just be like, dude, just go do everything you ever dreamed of doing. Just go fucking crazy. <laughs> Have one of your friends play the banjo. It'll scare the shit out of them. <laughs> oh, that's what I would do. Draft psychos. Don't draft decent people. Don't draft some dude who works at Staples. Fuck that, we need him. Keep him, go into the swamps of this country, get people rabies, get perverts, get people like to jerk off in public, you know? Just get like the cancer of this society. Get like homeless people who like to talk to buildings. Like <laughs> Just send all that shit over there. Bunch of freaks running around. <laughs> I was more of a person that uh, was in favor of them sending drafting prisoners, you know, prisoners, um, people who are in jail. You know what I'm saying? If you need soldiers, why not just, you know, have them train for war and have them go do what they do best? You know what I'm saying? That's where I was with it, you know. Just send all that shit over there. Bunch of freaks running around. <laughs> <laughs> Just irritate them. Send people over who talk too loud on their cell phones. Yeah, I just got a cheeseburger. <laughs> no, that just makes sense to me. Rednecks are psychopaths. You wouldn't want to draft a guy like me. I'm a comedian. I'm useless. I am. I'm lazy. I'm a coward. I don't like confrontations. You draft a redneck. Not only is that dude a psycho, he'll actually save your money. 
Those guys show up to the army, you're like, here's your M16. They're like, I already got one. <laughs> I got some shit in the trunk you ain't ever seen before, buddy. <laughs> I went on eBay, got me some of that surface to air shit. <laughs> Took it out hunting, got me a moose and a duck at the same fucking time. I didn't even see the duck. Duck was over her. I'm aiming at the moose. Duck's over her. That's my peripheral. Over her. And the shot went up the moose's ass. And the shrapnel from his antler hit the duck. Duck came down. It's the best goddamn duck ever, right? <laughs> he rolled for this one. He rolled for this no, one. No, they're hilarious. Funny people, but you got to give it up to them because they're patriotic. Yeah. They're patriotic people. Those sons of bitches. You'll never catch a red redneck at like an anti-war protest going, hell no, we won't go. They're just like, wait, I get to kill people? <laughs> Wait a minute, are they foreigners? <laughs> oh my God, hey Dale, come on, you're gonna miss it! <laughs> hurry up, hurry up! <laughs> Christmas in September! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never do this shit when I go down south. I never do this material. <laughs> <laughs> you bet not. <laughs> you better not do that material. <laughs> what are you talking about, boy? <laughs> no, I'm actually, I gotta admit, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of those people. <laughs> no, I, I really am. Not like, you know, all Southern, a lot of people, that's those, those backwoods. Dudes, they're just scary. I always try to like make conversation with them when I do shows, and you know, it's always they got like anger. They're crazy. Like they love their trucks, so you know, they got like they're kind of like they're like angry and proud. So I'm trying to make conversation because I'm nervous. Like, hey, yeah, that's a nice truck. What kind of truck is it? It's fucking American truck. <laughs> it's made in America by a fucking American. Like, all right, buddy, relax. No, I buy American shit. I get a cheeseburger, I get American cheese on that bitch. <laughs> right, none of that Swiss shit, I don't trust it. It's got all them holes in it, people looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just get, I get nervous when I go down there. I'm always saying that fucked up shit, South's gonna rise again. <laughs> Do what? Secede from the union? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking morons. <laughs> that shit was 200 years ago, 150 years ago. You know, you lost. Get over it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, man. What do y'all think about that? How true is that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I've, I've seen bits and pieces of all three different types of rednecks, but, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I really enjoy, like... I've been around maybe one or two backwood rednecks and stuff like, you know, they were cool. But uh, but how true do y'all think it is? Scaling on the uh, from one to ten. Was he like a five and above or a five and below? I catch you guys later, man. All right. Peace.